Personal Injury Education Foundation is a not-for-profit uh, independent company. Uh, what we do is provide education and training to a whole range of our member organisations from across Australia uh, in the fields of workers' compensation and, and motor accident insurance. Personal Injury Education Foundation is a registered training organisation. We approached WorkCover Queensland, uh, one of our long-standing corporate members, um, to try and see if we could turn their 12-week their, um, induction uh, training program into a Certificate 3 in Personal Injury Management qualification. What we've both brought a different skill set to, to this um, project. WorkCover Queensland were not going to do the assessments, they were very clear on that. They really wanted to do the training and then they wanted us to do the assessments. They did their in-house training, but they didn't really fully um, understand competency-based training. How we went about the assessments was I looked at their training programs and then developed the assessments, and then we went up and we spent um, a couple of days going through that and getting their feedback, tweaking the questions a little bit. Um, if we felt that they were, weren't quite right, used more of their language, um, because, as yes, you know, each state and territory has a different work, uh, workers' compensation um, legislation. It was very much a customised project, you know. It was very much about listening to what they wanted, tuning things. Um, they sort of validated the assessments as they were going along. Then we were ready to then develop um, an assessment guide for the assessors. Well, the assessments were um, written in such a way that they were able to have a blend of knowledge, testing knowledge, background knowledge, and also skills. And so how we did that, that we uh, developed scenarios and just questions for them to respond to. And then we also had what's called a third party um, report. And this was very much an, about their supervisors assessing them, but with a lot of guidance written into that third party report. When they're assessment ready, their supervisor would approach them and say, um, look, um, we're going to conduct this assessment um, um, and this is the situation, this is what we're going to be asking, and the student would say, um, OK, well, I'm ready to undertake that. Say, for example, giving information that's not really going to be that fantastic to the injured person. So they may set up a, a mock telephone call and have someone on the other end role-playing that person who's not a happy injured person. They'd start off with a situation that wasn't too complex and then they'd move into a more complicated, you know, challenging one where someone's pretty aggressive or pretty annoyed. When you're working with the supervisors and also developing the assessments, you had to be very mindful of the fact that these people had to be work ready. They had to be able to go out and work on the floor with minimal supervision. So it had to be very specific to their particular needs. Well, the online assessment is, is really basically the workbook. So they're able to go to LMS and download a workbook and that will have questions where they can respond. PEEF has a team of assessors and these people are all qualified and they are industry experts. That's really important. They really know, need to know the industry really, really well. But in this case, we use people from WorkCover Queensland um, because they really did need to know the legislation and they also have a really good insight into how their organisation operates. We used other assessors who have got experience in customer service, delivering um, service and also um, managing workloads and things like that. Um, we were able to customise that to how they wanted their people to manage their workloads. Where the challenge is is to actually maintain the integrity of the competency but at the same time address the needs of that business. Yeah, that's important. And that's through, um, you know, a lot of discussion and looking at materials, current resources, adding bits and pieces to those resources to make sure the, the competency is addressed, but at the same time their training program uh, is meeting the needs of, of their um, participants and their organisation.